There it is. When Rycross returns, the arrow prism will show the way. I know accepting nothing except this. This saying that has been passed on long ago, long ago, or whatever. Arrow prism? Ah, the light of the arrow prism, which illuminates everything. Rune, you know about it? Chaz, we have to return to Motavia. To, to Motavia? The first generation of Lutz stored the arrow prism in the soldier's temple. Uh, oh, the, the temple on the island in the lake near Krupp? We need a vehicle that can travel across that lake. I will contact Demi immediately. Hello and welcome to another episode of Fantasy Star 4. My name is Martyr. Thanks for joining us. We are back on Motavia, guys. We have made it back home. And there's a couple things to note that you should probably know that I actually went back to Desolus really quick because I forgot to mention this. But if you guys remember that zombie town, um, they kind of reopened back up and they had new items. New, uh, well, armor to be exact. So I went back there and spent a butt ton of money, got Laco mail and a bunch of Laco stuff. Which I don't even know what the hell Laco means, but you know, whatever. It's a better armor, so you're gonna go back there and spend a butt ton of money getting that stuff. And this episode's not gonna be... We're not gonna be continuing the story of this episode, chances are, because believe it or not, there is more side quests, more hunter's quests available officially. So we're actually gonna go and do those for this episode. And I do believe there's three of them, not all four quite yet. But yeah, that's what we're going to do for this level. It should give us the necessary levels to get ready for uh, the next part of the story. Give us some cash. And of course, well, it, hey, it's you know content of the game. So let's see what we got here. We will, yes, lady, you talk a lot. Oh, maybe they are already, okay. Staying in life, this is a village request from the village chief of Uzo. Via letter transmission, my two daughters have left the village and have not returned since. Please find out where they are. That is the message. They, the fee offered if you bring them home is an incredible 50,000 meseta. Quite a generous guy. You will need to cross the ocean for this job. Will you take on this request? Yes. Go. Please go to Uzo and get more details from the village chief's house. Uzo's village is deserted and south of here. Alright, so we're going to go south, I guess, of here. I already, pretty much already know where his daughters are. I'll give you a hint. They're in there. But we have to play stupid and go talk to the village chief and pretend as if we don't know nothing, so. Let's go do that. I guess it's at a village south of here. I don't re Blurp. Blurp. Blurpin. This will be the first time we ever used the hydro so let's do that. I guess is that it? No, that's Kadari. You said it was south of here, you lied. The hydrofoil, I think, can pretty much go any kind of over ball sacks. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just derping on the screen. I think the hydrofoil can go over just about any kind of terrain. But let's see here. See if we can find this village. There's a leviathan. Holy crap! What is that thing? It didn't die. Dear God, die. Oh my god. It's like a giant blue penis. Uh, would you die, please? Would, would you kindly please die? Would, would you kindly? No? Not gonna die? Oh, there we go. Uh, looks like Rune leveled up. That's always nice. Okay, so... You know, I'm starting to think she gave me bunk directions. I'm gonna run away from this guy. Screw you, you blue leviathan. Hold the tick. Maybe it's here. I've never seen this before. Or have I? I'm retarded. I don't know. Where is this town? Kill them. Kill them quickly. Alright. Well, yeah, we're definitely in the wrong place. If we're getting that tiny amount of experience. Okay, so we're definitely in the wrong spot. Let's go more south. I guess when she said south, she meant like south in the other side of the world south? I don't really know. Boy, would it be easier if there wasn't so many stupid random battles. Oh, there it is. Aha! I do believe this is Uzo. Yes, we found it. Alright. 
That wasn't so bad. This village of Uzo on the planet which it, Wow, who starts a sentence off that way? I am from New York on the planet Earth. Recently we've been able to catch any fish, however, wherever the soil is depleted and we can't grow any vegetables. Then those are the mysterious monsters. It sure has become a terrible world. <laughs> you know what, old man? Why don't you quit your complaining and just be happy you're alive? Uh, see anything new in the tool store? Not really. They have trimates here, though. And we can officially teleport here whenever the heck we want. I don't know where the village chief's house. I guess he's the biggest house in the place. Are you the village chief? I don't know. I haven't commissioned anybody from the Hunters Guild for anything. Huh? What do you mean you haven't commissioned us? I told him not to. My two daughters made a raft, and they headed to the mainland to do some shopping at the market. But it's been a month now, and there's no sign of them. I don't even know if they made it safely to the mainland or not. My husband is so stubborn and obstinate, and he carries on like that, but in truth, he's even more worried than I. Please find our daughters for us. Okay. So there we go. We talked to them. We know where the daughters made a raft. They went to go shopping. Uh, Ayedo has quite a bit of shopping district. There's really not much to this town, to be honest with you. I don't really see much of a point to it other than it has um, trimates in it, which can be useful, but... Other than that, not much. Let's teleport back to Yato here. Get this first side quest done. Obviously, the $50,000 amount that he has offered is probably a big fat lie. Stupid Hunter's Guild. They should, like, take the money and hold on to it before they just, you know. Hello. We came from far away to do some shopping. We got a little carried away so much, so much that we couldn't pay for our rooms. We got caught. What? You have a request from my parents and Uzo? Is that right? But there's a watchman standing guard all the time. There's no way I can go home. Uh, help, mommy. Okay, let's talk to the guard. Those sisters, they've got a 10 year sentence, so they say, let them out? No way. Well, if you post their bail, I don't see why I can't let them out. Their amount, their bail is at 50,000 Masada. Good lord. Sure. I'll post their bail. How magnanimous of me. Yes, I know. Well, you posted my bail? Let's go. Your parents are real worried. We bury her back to Uzo. Uzo? Uzo? I don't know. Oh, thank you very much. Well done for bringing her back safely. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. I'll be sending a commission feed to the guild right... Oh, maybe it is 50000 but basically we're not going to get anything, though. So they got 10 years in jail for not paying their hotel fees or their bills. Good lord. That's pretty harsh. 10 years? Well, how much of a bill did they rack up? Crap. Well, anyways, let's go. We're going to go collect our nothing amount of money. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a bonus. Who knows? Get him away, weird blue-haired dude. Ugh. Okay, first side quest down, though. Three more to go. Hopefully we can finish them all in this one episode. I have no idea. Congratulations on a successful resolution. Your commission fees a whopping 50000 much Santa. Please accept the money. You look kind of dissatisfied. Is anything wrong? Eh, it's nothing. Well, I can't imagine anything could be amiss. After all, you've received your fee. Please go and get killed. Blah, 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 blah. I feel cheated. You didn't win, but you didn't lose anything either. Let it be this once. Okay, that's one down. Let's, let's get to the others. She talks a lot. Dying boy. That's not good. Okay. There's a quest from Mr. Culvers of Turinko via letter transmission. My son has fallen ill. I would like to discuss a certain plan I have to deal with this matter. I will go into more detail after we meet. That is the message. If we offered us 10,000 Masetta, there will be a need to cross the ocean for this job. Will you take on this job? Yes. Please go to the village of Turinko and get more details directly from Mr. Culvers. The village of Turinko is south of Munson. The Culvers residence is the house farthest in the back. Well, at least that's more kind of straightforward directions, I guess. So let's go to Munson and find out what's going on with this dying kid. That's sad. Children should never die. That's sad. We have to help him, guys. It is our duty as... I said duty. As um, hunters. Let's go to the town of Munson Cheese. Okay, I don't exactly understand how this town is south of here, but let's go. Derp! No! I don't need to fight you guys. You guys are weak.
Oh my gosh. Leave me alone, you stupid Leviathan. Hello, is that it? Yes, that's it. We found Tarinko. Here we go. Another town we've discovered. This is the village of Tarinko, or Tarins, or whatever it's called. It's a farming village famous for its terraced fields. Alright. Doesn't look like too shabby of a town. Everything seems nice. There's little children running about. What's the mainland? Is it really such a great thing? Yes. There's hookers and blow. Welcome to the tool store again. Not much other than Trimate being included in the stores. There is no um, weapon stores, I believe. Here. Let me make sure of that, though. Yep. Yeah, old people. Yep. No old people, man. I think that's the top of the town, so this must be his house. Yep, that's definitely him. There's his dying son. Are you the hunters from the guild? My name is Culver's. My son has become ill, but actually the doctor said that he has been cured, but my son is convinced that he's going to die, that he can't be cured. It's one of those so-called psychological illnesses. Back in the days when there were, weren't any mon many monsters, we used to take family trips to Termine. If we really could take him now, but that's not possible. If we showed him something that is connected to Termine, it might get his strength back. Please, could you go and buy something from the gift shop at Termi? And I'm being paid 10,000 bucks for this. 10,000 bucks. To go to a gift shop, buy something, and bring it back. I, I'm completely astounded. We're just going to go ahead and buy, I think, one of everything from the item shop, because I don't really remember what it is you have to buy. The gift shop's that weird shop all the way in the back left over here. You, you'll remember when you see it. We've actually been in here like a couple times. There's that guy with a weird bandana. Almost as good a bandana as Chaz. So, we need to... I, if I remember right, we've already bought the parallel mate, so we don't really need that. Um, Maybe... We'll buy one of each. What the heck? A wood carving... It's not like I don't have the money. And to be honest with you, you're not going to be spending much money on the stores from now on. I mean, unless you want to go and buy some Stardew or um, uh, Trimate. Because pretty much that's all of the uh, equipment stores in the game. Officially, the last one was the one in that zombie town. So let's go back to Tarinko here. And give the kid his thing. We're going to get paid for what we bought anyway, so it's not like it matters. Hopefully he likes one of the things we brought him. He doesn't obviously need the parallel mate. That was to cure that chick in Kadari of her illness, whatever the heck she had. So let's see what we can do for him. Did we talk to the kid? Wow, well, look at this. It's the elite sword, that harem that we saw at Termi. There we go, that works. Ready now? Watch. Ah, uh, Chaz is showing some moves. C cool. This sword is filled with the strength and courage of the her the heroine Elise. Here, it's for you. Now you get better. Uh, oh yes, thank you. I feel like I'm getting better already. What the hell? Let's do it. Oh, it's a miracle. My son has recovered. It's all thanks to you. You're the second hero. Thank you so much. I'll remit your fee to the guild. That's it. Two down. Two to go. We're making some pretty good time here. We may finish them all. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go to Iedu here. Alright. I thought there'd be a little bit more experience involved in all this, but apparently not. If not, there is a trick I could show you guys how to get experience officially. We are more than high enough level to go do the trick. It's not really a trick, it's... More of a, a you consistently bashing one particular monster. There it goes. Please go again. Hunter skill where we reach the lives of hunters. It's amazing that even a toy sword like that could save a life. That was a genuine heroin sword, that is, to that boy. Oh, okay. There you go. There's always like a little conversation afterwards. It's cute. Man with twist. This is a request from Mount Sariagas of Turinko. We are at our wits and due to a flock of birds who are eating up our terraced fields. Please exterminate them. This, that is the message. The offer is 20,000 Maseta. There will be a need to cross the ocean for this job. Will you take on this job? Yes. Go please go to Tarenko more directly from blah blah blah. Okay, we are even there. It's in the middle of the village this time. 
you would have think they would have just hey said hey can you just you know help us with all these jobs at once seeing how you're already here and save themselves some time but what do I know right let's head back to Tarinko here see what they need apparently you're dealing with giant birds Jazz doesn't have much tech points but I don't really care I don't foresee there being much of a opposition <laughs> I could be wrong though, we could be slaughtered hor horrifically by these birds. Which would be hilarious. So apparently it's in the middle, I'm gonna guess it's this guy. Our terrorist fields are part of this village, look at what a wasteland it is now. A strange flock of birds flew from the northeast and ate our fields. Okay, is that who I need to talk to? Or are you the guy I need to talk to? Uh, he likes those birds that eat our fields because of this, he's being ostracized by the villagers. Okay, so this guy in here. Are you the hunters from the... Wow, that guy looks exactly like his character model. I see, Chris, you've heard that a strange flock of birds have been eating up these fields, right? Well, the fact is I know the place where the head honcho bird is. What I want you to ask you to do is exterminate the head honcho bird. That head honcho bird can be found in a cave northeast of here. I beg you, we get that bird, protect our fields. Okay, so we have to go into a dungeon and murder some birds. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Bird murder is not exactly kind. Hop in, our, hop in our little land rover here. We can run away from these guys. We're way out leveled them. Uh, oh, there's the cave right there. And this cave is full of birds. I don't know what the cave is called. I didn't catch the name. Blue Rappy. <laughs> Alright. They kind of look like fat little chocobos. Oh, I'm slaughtering them. This is so wrong. Poor little fat, stupid birds. Um, they don't really seem to be much of a ch Yeah, they're literally not much of a challenge. I don't know what... There has to be some sort of trick to this. Something is definitely wrong here. And I kind of feel bad for slaughtering them, but I mean, that's the quest. I, I have no choice. Maybe the big bird has been infested with evil or something. Okay, so that's a dead end. Don't go that way. I'm derping on the screen, but at least we're, you know, these battles are incredibly easy so far. I'm gonna guess we're gonna face a giant one of these things, whatever the hell it is. We'll have to use Grand Cross on it and fight it with our best abilities, chances are. <laughs> oh no! You're fighting four rappy birds. So like rappers, like rappy birds? I can't rap, so I'm not even going to try that, but you know what I'm... When Chaz leveled up, that's a miracle. Alright, let's go over here. Where's this giant bird? Okay. So far it seems pretty easy to get the drop on these guys. Things seem to be going well, but when things seem to be going well, they're just a, f a step away from heading into disaster, usually. At least that's what I find in my case. Okay. This cave's a little bit of a, a cluster, but we're, not, we're having too much of a hard time finding our way around. I don't think there's any treasure chests. Probably something lame like mono mate. Oh, that one hit. That one did hit pretty hard, actually. So maybe they just have a low threshold for pain. That's maybe what it is. <laughs> boy, oh boy, there sure is a lot of them all of a sudden. Oh yeah, look at that. Now they're hitting kind of decently hard. But again, they're not much of a challenge. I don't think they're supposed to be. I think that's the point, though. They're just supposed to be blue and cute and stuff. Okay, so that's a dead end. The other top side. Just go up the stairs. I think the cave is pretty much just a straight shot. I'll probably heal up before I face the big bird. <laughs> I said big bird. It looks like this will probably be the last quest. We'll do the last hunter mission next episode. And then start on... Go go on to the main story quest, I mean. Suddenly, we'd love to finish all these birds off, though, and get to where I need to go. No. Okay, Rune dodged. Good job, Rune. Your incredible fashion has probably distracted them, Rune. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's the big fat bird up there. We're just gonna cast a minor healing spell on Chaz here. 
And I think with that, everyone is pretty much up to par. Let's kill this fat bastard. So this is the boss bird of the flock that's been eating up the fields. I it's noticed us. Okay, let's go. King Rappy here. Let's make sure we take him down. I'm not going to hold back on him because I'm not going to underestimate him. So, actually, no, I'm going to actually do... Um, I'm going to defend, cast some defense spells just in case. I don't want to be caught unawares and suddenly all my men drop dead. Oh, dear God. Did he just take one point of damage from Mephis? What the hell? Oh, God. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Okay. Uh, burst rock. Crosscut. I guess because maybe he's kind of, kind of as like a, a, a light. I don't know. Maybe cast that one on him. He kind of hits kind of hard. He's not too difficult so far, though. I could be wrong. For some reason, Ephus did nothing to him. I don't know what he just tried to do to her. I think he just looked at her boobs and was just... He's like, oh, boobs. <laughs> uh, let's try burning the little fat bastard. I want some fried chicken. I love fried chicken. Fried chicken is delicious. Oh, I didn't mean to cast combo spell, but hey, that works out pretty well. Uh, that, I guess, did something. I don't know what. I realized I've been using Crosscut because I thought I was going to use Ephus like a doof, so we're going to just switch back here to Rayblade. See how it's the stronger of the attacks. Again, shooting star, messing up his world. 9,963 experience, good lord. Um, okay. Hey, stop! Stop that! I'm confused. Seacrest! Ryan Seacrest! Please, let it go! Why? You're the very one who wanted to exterminate it! Yes, that's very true. I'm sorry, please forgive me. What on earth is going on? Okay, okay, let me explain. Please forgive me. I've always been an animal lover. Recently I discovered a new breed of bird. I've been collecting those birds in this cave and rearing them. But eventually, I just murdered dozens of them. But eventually they multiplied and began looking for food. They came to Trinko and started to eat the fields. That's when the villagers got mad and tried to exterminate the birds. Isn't that cruel? All the birds wanted was to find some food. Then why did you commission the guild to exterminate the boss bird? Is that really... How about the matriarch? boss bird and no don't get me angry no, no i mean no don't get angry hear me out i knew that a head honcho had started to emerge amongst the birds and that it was very powerful i thought even a hunter from the guild would be no match for it see i thought it would serve as a good lesson if the hunter got beaten that way i figured the villagers would stop being mean to the birds so you wanted to use us but it was a gross miscalculation on my part i had no idea you, you got bleh. i had no idea you guys would be so strong I'm really sorry. Just to lock me up, just lock me up in prison, or wherever you want. Just get out of my sight. What? You heard me. Leave. You, you'll forgive me. Thank you. Chaz, I can't say I don't understand him. Anyway, the boss bird has flown away somewhere, so the fields shouldn't be in danger anymore. But won't they eat up some other field, dumbass? We'll deal with that when we come to it. Now, everybody, let's get out of here. All right, that's it. Let's um, go ahead and just use our dungeon escape spell. Teleport back to Iedu here. And we'll I think we'll probably finish up the last Hunter Quest, like I said, next episode. Not a very exciting episode. I mean, mostly just Hunter Quests. But, you know, you got to do them. At the very least, they'll help you get some of that equipment that you need to get from that last store in... Uh, Desolus. The town's called Rochelle, I do believe. There's no word nor remittance on the fear from the requester. Aha, this is one of those dirty rascals who won't pay up for a service rendered. That is a major problem. We must take care of this immediately since it also means saving face for the guild. Wait, it's alright. <coughs> Excuse me. What, you really mean it? Well, if you say so, there's not necessarily just one correct answer to everything. Chaz, that's it, guys. We're going to call it there, though, is if there's a game you want me to play, as always, tweet at me at MarterA2J, and we will see you next time.